Hello everyone and welcome back to another Plan With Me video. Um, so this week I am planning for the week of October 21st to the 27th. But before I get into that, I wanted to show you how my week usually is. Um, this is me kind of going back and just kind of filling in things that we did over the weekend because I usually don't plan on the weekend. And if I do, it's on my daily planner now. Um, also, as you guys can tell, my planner is not perfect. It's very much functional, you know, it works for me. Anytime you see anything that is crossed out, that means it didn't happen. Anything with a check mark, it did happen. That's just how I do it. I know with some people, um, when they cross things out, that means like they did it. But for me, this is just how I've always done it. I think I've been doing that since high school. So this is a recap of how the week went. And I actually was not gonna film a weekly spread for this coming week because I was gonna just try to use my daily planner um, but I did get an email from my son's teacher and there was like a couple things going on for the week and had completely forgotten about um, our Skechers walk that we um, signed up for is happening this Sunday so it's just the month has just been flying by so um, I didn't even think that it was this week and then also um, some things going on for the week is that there are going to be three days where um, my son, we have early dismissal for this week and I totally forgot about that. So every Wednesdays he does get out early. Um, it's 227 but on Thursday and Friday he will be getting out a little bit earlier because of parent-teacher conferences so I wanted to make sure I put that in my week he does get out at 2 12 so wanted to make sure I put that in there so this week I decided to get a little bit more colorful in my planner and did a little bit of color coding I also um, decided to kind of make the time slots a little bit more significant so when I look at my planner um, it just looks a little bit cleaner and for the blue on um, this week, it's going to be anything that has to do with my kiddos. And I'm so excited for a Skechers walk this Sunday. Um, it's going to be our second time doing it. It's a fundraiser for his school where 100% of the proceeds do go to his school. And I believe last year all the proceeds went to, I believe, a science lab that they now have, which is pretty cool. I don't know what the plan is for this year but I'm pretty sure it's going to be something amazing for the kids and um, I do have to remember to since it is a Skechers walk uh, we get to pick up and register or we're able to register early um, starting on Friday but we will be going on Saturday like we did last year there is a Skechers um, not too far from us and we'll be able to pick up all of our stuff that way when we get there on Sunday we can kind of um, just learn just remembering what happened last year we can kind of leave a little bit earlier get parking and um, get to visit some of the vendors that are there that are giving out free things and we will most likely not be grabbing every single thing just the ones that we think we're gonna need like toothpaste and toothbrushes and we already used ours but that was kind of nice to have um, it's a little bit of freebies um, for us so I wanted to make sure we have time for that because last year it was so crowded we could barely get through and there were games that we couldn't play because it was just so crowded so the kids kind of missed out on that and I want to make sure we don't miss out on it this time around so and something else that is going on for this week is I am starting my morning meltdown um, new workout by Beachbody and um, it's it consists of a hundred workouts and it's supposed to be done every single day but I can kind of foresee myself um, like for instance this Sunday I don't plan on getting a workout in but on Saturday I'm gonna do two so that way I still get the workout in um, and I do remember some people doing that too so um, figured why not do the same because I don't want to miss a workout. The program that I did before this one totally kicked my butt but I think it kind of prepped me to get started with the, committing to this 100 day workout so I'm really happy about that. And my focus for the week is to get up at 5 a.m. and that's when I'm going to get my workout in and I believe I'm going to scratch the whole waking up at 3 3 30 
I don't think it's for sure yet. I'm still kind of playing around with my schedule as far as when I want to work on YouTube, when I want to um, just work on stuff for myself, uh, calligraphy practice, I've kind of fell behind on. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So um, I think I'm going to try to do all of the things at night when my son is asleep because they're my kids are in bed by 8 o'clock, like they're knocked out. So, um, and just try to make sure I stay focused on doing those things to be in bed by 9 30 10 o'clock so that I can um, for sure be asleep before 11 so that's kind of the goal and then my to-do list for this week again I'm trying to prioritize some things that align with my goals as well as making sure I complete anything that's also time sensitive um, like for example signing up my my son for basketball I don't want to lose out on um, any spots like I don't want it to fill up this is our first time really signing up for basketball with the school so um, I want to make sure I, I don't miss out and that's pretty much it for this layout my camera battery did die so I just went ahead and finished um, setting up for the week and it's just the usual things like um, my PM routine boys going to bed and then um, I wrote for this Monday because I'm filming this on a Monday um, to make sure I put in uh, working on YouTube uh, make sure I read. I want to finish my book this week. Um, I want to go bed. I want to be in bed by 9 30 or 10 o'clock. And then what else? Oh, something also with my PM routine is to make sure I have my desk set up um, so that in the morning I have everything I need my planner, my workout journal, my, um, my budget workbook because I like to look in it every single day. And yeah, so. Um, again, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye